Okay, here they are. This is the tight leverage arms that I ordered. I actually back ordered these back in December. Just now getting them. We're going to do an unboxing and just see what they look like. I've never seen any of these in person before. But yeah, maybe they won't be destroyed. I see the edge of the box is kind of beat up a little bit. But maybe that won't be no big deal. Well. It's a little crusty looking. Let's see, a bunch of styrofoam. I mean, it looks like it's packaged pretty good, except for on this end here. It kind of moved out and pulled the corner out. I suspect it's probably going to have a little bit of paint damage on that corner. We may not. We might get lucky on that. Oh, let's see, they got a, something heavy. Bless the handles. Okay, they said this little card with the manual. I don't think we'll need a manual. As simple as these are, they should be pretty easy to assemble. But let's see, it's pins. This is like bolts. Just some hardware. Uh, what these are, these are probably. Oops. Yep. Weight post. Let's see. Here. Let's see. Here. Check this end out right here. Yeah. Definitely got a little scuffed up here on this corner. Clean it. That's the weld. They look pretty trashy, actually. It's uh, got a real sharp corner on it right there. It looks like that would bite you pretty good. Alrighty. Well, that's what it looks like in the box. I'm going to go ahead, take these apart, check them out, and uh, I'll show them assembled and we'll put them on the rack. Okay, so I do have one of the arms pinned to the rack. Uh, that end, that's actually plastic. That's where the uh, chipper, looks like they just dig the corner up. This little plastic insert here just kind of smushed into the end here. I'm not really too worried about it because it's, I'm not here for, I guess, the cosmetics of it. I just want the functionality of it. But my plans are, I want to put it inside this rack. This rack is 42 or 43 inches wide. And I was really wanting an overhead press machine, but I was thinking, you know, I have a rack. And I could use these leverage arms probably in a similar manner inside of the rack. And just take the lever arm and, you know, set it upright and put my lower... Oh, these lower stops up higher to kind of hold them, you know, parallel to the rack there. And then uh, I can move my bench, just slide that bench, you know, right here, sit, and just do overhead push-ups. But I'm not sure if that's going to work or not, but because my cable machine could be in the way, and I'm not sure, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to assemble it, and uh, we'll see if that works or not. Okay, so what I had planned, I think it's going to work. I haven't put a weight plate on yet, but I had the flip down safety up higher. I have the leverage arm sitting on top of the safety. And right now, the only real thing I'm kind of disappointed with, it's got kind of a little bit of side to side motion, but the safety catch is going to catch it, but it's kind of right there on the edge on this side. So. I'm going to slide some weight plates on it, play with it a little bit. Well, matter of fact, we'll just slide one of these uh, little light weight plates on it, see if it'll clear this rack. I might want to have to unbook the rack. But, yeah. Not going to fit. Well, that's a bummer. I could probably just use my little steel plates, because they're smaller in diameter versus these uh, rubber bumper plates. But, I'm going to fool with this a little bit more, and we'll see what happens. Well, I'm going to eat a little bit of crow on what I said earlier because actually the plates will slide on if I drag this arm around just a little bit. They'll barely clear it. But this pull-down machine, really I don't think it was made to be bolted to a rack, but 
I mean, it bolts to the rack and why not? You know, I, I need to move it on the wall, kind of free the rack up a little bit because, you know, with these bumpers down here, if you're lifting over here when you're coming down or something, you might wind up hitting these and kind of a big old pain. But looks like this is going to work out. I only have one arm set up. Uh, the only real assembly to this thing is you got to put these bolts right here for the weight plate holder and the hold the arm on and i guess just user specific you can put this arm on i guess either way you can put the little short end back here or you know vice versa but it's probably just all in your preference uh this piece back here is already assembled the only thing you have to do to put it in a rack is it's got a little uh rod that slides through the rack and then you got a pin a quick release pin here that you know you just slide out and to hold it in place but you know nothing real fancy but these weren't very expensive they were i mean they're a couple hundred bucks i'm not gonna say that's cheap but it's a lot cheaper than most of your competition is gonna be you know for a professional rat and i mean for a homeowner for me it's it's pretty good you know, yeah, if you want to spend a thousand bucks, you can get a rogue that slides up and down and, and it's real nice. But, you know, this here is going to do what I need it to do because I only intend on using this for overhead press. Well, all right, there it is. It's fully assembled. Uh, I got both arms in there. Uh, you really have to be careful with these arms because <clears throat> it's a finger painter if you're not, you know, careful. You definitely don't want to have your hand up around here when you're trying to install this into the slots because if this falls you're fixing to be screaming but i like it they they're man they're pretty nice and just you know for another accessory to this rack they're gonna allow me to do kind of like uh basically like a machine overhead press but just without the machine because i don't have a lot of room to be buying other machines like that so i'm trying to use this rack for every possibility i can do and i could even use these to do you know, bench presses off of those uh, flip down safeties, just lower it down to a comfortable height, you know, close to your chest, and you don't have to worry about the weight coming down on you because all you have to do is turn loose of them and they're not going to, they're not going to touch you. So you can work the failure if that's, you know, what your goals are. But I mean, you can also do other things like uh, lat pulls. Well, well, yeah, yeah, well, lat pulls. Uh, you could do, I would say you could do dead deadlifts with it but i don't know if i like the idea of trying to do deadlifts with that just because of the way they're positioned and it might put me in an awkward position and you know cause an injury but i would say you know if you have a rack or if you buy one of these racks which they make several series of these racks this is their titan series rack which is a little more expensive yeah it's probably really no need to go this heavy with a rack the only thing i really liked about it was like the whole spacing for it and some of the other big brand companies you could use their attachments on this rack too if you want to but it's more rack than i'll ever need but the uh you know having these extra accessories kind of like i said it helps me conserve more room and you know i can get other exercises out of it but that's that's probably where I'm going to end this video here because, I mean, these are just simple little accessories and just kind of an idea of what you can do with the rack. And uh, I thank you for watching the video. If you like what you see, please comment below. Uh, if you'd like to see other accessories, like I said, just leave a comment and I'll uh, put what I can up. All right, thank you.